Do they I ruin academic integrity or is it the key to saving teachers everywhere? Picture this. Adam has a writing assignment due tomorrow. Panic mode. His classmates, they have already cranked out essays with AI while the teacher is blissfully unaware. Now Adam is thinking, why not me? Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you will know how to keep your assessments authentic even with AI in the mix and without turning your own workload into an all-nighter. I'm Dr. Munir, a teacher educator turned AI enthusiast, here to help educators navigate the wild world of AI without losing their sanity or their students' integrity. Today, we'll dive into how AI is shaking up academic assessments and explore six ways you can redesign assignments to keep things equitable, effective, and yes, human. Plus, I'll show you how these changes don't just combat AI misuse, they make learning better for everyone. And don't worry, I know what you might be thinking. Does adapt assignments mean even more work for me? Let's address that head on and explore tools that can make these changes manageable and dare I say enjoyable. Let's face it, AI is here to stay. You cannot just hit block and hope it disappears, but you can adapt. I get it. Your plate is already full. Lesson plans, grading, parent emails, staff meeting. Now we're asking you to redesign assignments to counter AI misuse. It sounds overwhelming. I know. But here's the good news. This video isn't about technical jargon or impossible to implement ideas. It's about practical solutions you can discuss with your team starting tomorrow. So don't be lazy. Call that meeting and make the top of your agenda. How will we adapt our assignments? So let's dive into how these changes can not only preserve academic integrity, but also streamline your workflow with the right tools. You will find them in the link below. Okay, let's break this down one adaptation at a time. Okay, let's start with writing assignments. You can go beyond the traditional essay without making your workload unbearable. If you don't want students outsourcing their entire essay to AI, try a blend of in-class and out-of-class writing, reflective journals, oral presentations. These strategies don't just deter misuse, they foster critical thinking, communication skills, and deeper engagement. For instance, reflective journals encourage students to connect class material to their own lives, making learning more meaningful while oral presentations help them articulate ideas clearly, an essential life skill. But let's be real. Implementing these changes might seem like a grading nightmare. The solution? Use tools that simplify assessment. Google Classroom, Canvas. These platforms let you build rubrics for quick, consistent feedback, while Otter AI, my favorite, can transcribe oral presentations, saving you hours of note-taking. When you pair in-class writing with reflective journals, you not only reduce academic misconduct, but also make learning more personal for students, helping them see how their unique perspectives shape their understanding. It's a win for integrity and a win for engagement, and it doesn't have to mean a whole lot of extra work for you. Now let's talk about research projects. It's all about showing their work and keeping the process transparent. Forget about the generic writer report assignment. Instead, focus on critical analysis and synthesis by asking students to submit research logs, annotated bibliographies, or even video walkthroughs of their research process. These approaches not only make their thought processes transparent, but also teach them to evaluate sources, a vital skill in today's era of misinformation. Imagine this. A student documents the research journey, identifying a questionable source, critically evaluating it, and explaining why it didn't make the cut. That's not just academic integrity. It's real-world problem-solving in action. Worried about the extra time grading these? Let technology lend a hand. Tools like Screencastify or Loom allow students to record their research process, giving you insight into their decision-making without requiring you to sift through heaps of drafts. For citations, encourage platforms like Zotero or EasyBit to ensure consistency and save everyone time. By focusing on transparency and guiding students to evaluate their sources, you're not just preserving academic integrity, you're equipping them with life skills that matter far beyond the classroom. Third, 
When it comes to problem solving tasks, it's not just about the answer, it's about understanding the why behind. See, AI can crank out the right answers faster than you can say quadratic formula. But can it explain why? Well, to an extent. So to ensure genuine understanding, ask students to generate written or video explanations of their problem solving steps. Not only does this confirm their grasp of the material, but it also strengthens their ability to communicate complex ideas clearly, again, a skill they will use far beyond your classroom. Here's a real-world application. In a math class, ask students to prepare video tutorials explaining their solutions to peers. The result? Not only do they reinforce their own learning, but they also foster a collaborative environment where students learn from one another. Worried about managing this? Tools like Flipgrid make it easy for students to submit short videos breaking down their reasoning, while platforms like Desmos Classroom Activities help students visualize their problems solving processes in math and science. By focusing on the why behind the what, you're not just dodging AI misuse, you're turning problem solving into a skill building exercise that prepares students for real world challenges. Now, what about creative subjects like art and design? Well, again, let the process count. Ask students to reflect on their inspiration, the challenges they face, the choices they make throughout the process. This helps you assess their unique voice while fostering a deeper connection to the material. For example, a student working on a graphic design project might share their initial sketches and talk through how they decided on a final concept. Not only does this ensure originality, but it also builds their ability to critique their own work, an invaluable skill in creative industries. And to streamline this, encourage students to submit concept sketches, iterations, and reflections alongside their final projects. Tools like Padlet allow students to build visual boards that showcase their progress and thought process, while Adobe Creative Cloud is perfect for building digital portfolios that combine visuals with written reflections. By focusing on the process, you're not just ensuring academic integrity, you're helping students develop the critical thinking and self-reflection skills that will serve them in their creative careers. Fifth. Group projects don't have to be a headache. Group projects can be a minefield, but with peer assessments and individual contribution reports, you can ensure equity and accountability. For example, let students conduct individual video check-ins during group projects where each student explains their role and contributions. This makes it crystal clear who did what, leading to more equitable grading and a stronger team dynamics. And managing these assessments doesn't have to fill your plate. Tools like Google Forms allow you to quickly prepare peer assessment surveys, while platforms like Trello or Notion let students document their contributions in shared workspaces, making it easier to track individual efforts. With these systems in place, you're not just fostering accountability, you're promoting teamwork, you're promoting transparency and a better assessment process. Plus, it saves you time, ensuring you can focus on what really matters, supporting student growth. Finally, presentation-based assessments. It's about tapping into students' authentic voices. Presentation-based assessments such as oral presentations, debates, demonstrations, allow you to gauge student understanding in real time. Sure, AI can write a script, but delivering it with confidence, that's all that. Same applies for debates. If a student heavily relies on AI for writing, they will struggle big time to present their argument confidently. The cracks in their understanding would be glaring giving you a perfect opportunity to step in with targeted support. Oral presentations also keep things engaging for students, and you can easily make them interactive. Tools like Kahoot or Mentimeter allow you to turn presentations into dynamic, engaging experiences that also provide quick feedback. With presentations, you're not just checking for knowledge, you're assessing how well students can communicate and defend their ideas, giving them a chance to show off their authentic voices. And when they do, you know it's truly them up there, not an AI. Now let's step back and look at the bigger picture. It's not just about preserving academic integrity, it's about improving learning for everyone and without adding extra work. When students reflect on their work, analyze sources critically, or present their ideas, they are not just completing assignments, they are developing skills that will serve them 
long after graduation. And for you, the teacher, these strategies provide more opportunities to connect with your students on a deeper level, helping you see their unique strengths and challenges in ways that really matter. Okay, so we've covered six strategies so far. And the best part is, these approaches don't just preserve integrity, they help students thrive. If you're loving these ideas, my online course, AI Simplified for Teachers by Teachers, dives even deeper into strategies for adapting to AI in education without doubling your workload. Bottom line, teachers, AI doesn't have to be the enemy. With a little creativity, the right tools, and a focus on adaptation, you can not only stay ahead of the game, but also make your job a whole lot easier. So which strategy will you try first? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to download the list of tools mentioned today, along with how you can use them to streamline your teaching and preserve academic integrity. If you enjoyed this, you'll love my next video on adapting school policies for AI. Subscribe for more.